Dr. Susan Kiragu Kanayo is carrying out one of the sessions at her organization's annual mentorship program. These young boys and girls all come from disadvantaged backgrounds from across the country and have been able to further their studies as a result of the Children in Freedom organization started by Dr. Kiragu and her husband Victor last year. Dr. Kiragu had been working as a researcher at Cambridge University shortly after completing her PhD in education at the institution. Between 2009 and 2012, I worked with a group of 97 girls, um, understanding their life, their poverty. And um, it was when they reached class 8 that the 97 girls that we started from had dwindled down to 37 and they had dropped out for all sorts of reasons, um, getting married, um, getting pregnant. The girls embodied potential but stood the risk of neither having the promise of it being realized nor knowing the privilege of earning a proper education, given the lack of support. Dr. Kiragu, on acknowledging this, chose to step in and be the change she wanted to see. I quit my job. Um, it was a good job, well paying. Um, but I wasn't satisfied and I decided to follow my, my heart and we came back to Africa. Her husband, a Nigerian national, also took the bold step of quitting his job as a software engineer with Hewlett Packard in London. There's a time when you come to reality that you need to give back. I've been in Europe for so long and um, I decided to come back but I wanted to give back to my people in terms of knowledge, in terms of actually knowing who they are. Um, because of the kind of education and training I've gotten in Europe. Children in Freedom was born last year and supports 29 students in Nairobi, Muranga, Kajiado, Kiambu, Machakos, Nakuru, Homabe and Migori. Dr. Kiragu is proud that 95% of the organization's funding comes from Kenyans, both locally and abroad. Uh, we believe so much in Africans um, taking care of their own mess. So we are so much into individual um, contributions uh, because when you give, uh, Victoria, you change. It doesn't matter the amount. Beyond covering school fees, Children in Freedom has a strong premise on mentorship that has seen many of the beneficiaries develop a more positive outlook on life. I had lost hope in life, honestly, and uh, I, was, I was like, I'm not going to make it in life. But this program, it has really, really empowered us they have encouraged us. I didn't have confidence. One day, I'm going to be a journalist. Yeah, that's what I'm determined and I'm focused on that, on achieving my dreams. Dr. Kiragu hopes to build several children in Freedom Centers for Talent to absorb the over 200,000 children who don't have a chance to go to high school due to lack of infrastructure in their locales. For Dr. Kiragu and her husband Victor, leaving the labor force to undertake a labor of love was a necessary step they hope will bring tangible change to our society. For Women in Power, I'm Victoria Rubadiri.